Hey everyone, Pinchy Al here, and we're back on another episode of Pinchy Al's Garage with Motorcycles, and we're gonna give you guys a full review of my Honda ADV 150cc scooter. So let's get to work because this is Pinchy Al's Garage. Now on today's review, we're gonna give you guys my 6,000 mile final review on this scooter. That's right, everyone. I've ridden this bike over 6,000 miles in less than one year. Um, I know it's not a lot, but given the circumstances of what happened in my life, when I bought this, I bought this late in the season, so I didn't have a lot of riding time in it. Um, but again, it's something that I am truly passionate about now. I'm big into scooters, <coughs> motorcycles, and obviously my cars as always but one of the things i love about this scooter is how highly moddable it is how much beneficial it is when you mod these bikes and how much more fun this bike gives you once you start modding it because man it is a fun bike to ride when it's properly modded and getting the max performance out of it so the mod list goes on this guy is pretty much a yoshimura full exhaust with a welded O2 wideband sensor, an A-Racer A Mini 5 ECU, and then we have the A-Racer software custom tune already on here. It's got a Chimera short ram intake, a 180cc fuel injector, upgraded fuel line, a DCR camshaft upgrade, upgraded radiator. It's got the S23 12 gram variator uh melosi kevlar belt and the melosi uh clutch with the yellow spring it's got the factory suspension factory tires um this thing will do almost 80 miles an hour with i'm gonna say not with no issues but pretty quickly it's wrapped pearl white it's got a little bit of damage already on it but you know shit happens I got the smoked windshield on it. Um, other than that, it's, it's, dude, it's such a cool bike. It's such a cool little scooter uh, to get you around town, to get you to work. Um, I actually commuted, I commute in this almost every day to work when the season's right here in California. Um, and I commute on a highway. This thing will do 55 miles up a grade. Okay, guys? And this thing in stock form barely did 50 miles an hour revving the crud out of it i will do 55 plus up some crazy hills with no issues on flats it'll do 70 to 75 miles an hour all day on flats um it sounds really good it runs really well i still got fuel efficiency i can still get about 70 miles an hour instead of the 80 mile an hour like um 80 miles to the gallon that it was recommended i get about 60 um, but typically i rev the crap out of it it's so much fun to ride it's so much fun to ride so without further ado let's give you guys a quick test run on this uh adv 150.
there you go. The ADV 150 from Honda. Oh man, this thing is wild. It is such a fun scooter to ride. Now the only thing I have as a pet peeve on this scooter is that it has a rear drum brake. It is more than enough for this uh, for it to stop it, but um, it is harder to stop with it. Uh, it takes a little bit longer, so I definitely don't recommend reckless riding at all. I was showing you guys where I live. There's not much traffic, so I can definitely open it up uh, and show you guys how fun it is to uh, ride this scooter, but definitely I'm gonna do some research on how to swap out the rear drum uh, for a disc brake setup. They do make this bike in every other country with disc brakes. So that is my next um, pretty much upgrade to this bike. Uh, once I'm ready to get to that point, I'm gonna definitely swap it out to a disc brake setup. But man, again, you guys can see for yourself on the video, this thing rips for a, such a tiny little bike. Um, it's a little over 200 pounds. It rides, you can sit on this for hours and never have issues with your ass. Let's just be honest. <laughs> All right. For four grand, if you can hunt it down for four grand, new or used, highly recommended. It's not going to be as fast as its big brother, the ADV 350, which you can't even get in the US. Um, it won't be near as fast as the Kimco that's in my stable, the X Town 300. But if you're looking for a fun commuter, easy to ride, super fun to modify, tons of aftermarket parts, affordable on gas. Probably again, probably the easiest thing I've ever learned. This is actually my first motorcycle, just so you guys know. This was actually my first bike. I learned how to ride and do everything I needed to learn how to do on this bike. So, as always, highly recommended for beginners, for people who need something around town, um, for anybody in general who wants a really fun and affordable scooter that won't break the bank on gas, on learning how to ride, or anything in general. Peace out, everyone. You guys have yourself a wonderful day. And as always, smash that like and subscribe button to see more content like this.